I'll tell you what is the one feeling I fear most in the world. Loneliness. I am definitely starting to get a little bit lonely being here. I do feel really lonely. And I can hear you thinking, what about sadness, regret or grief? But guys, I am a firm believer that with the support of those you love, anything is manageable, but facing them alone is enough to send even the strongest amongst us into a deep, dark spiral down to the deep, dark pits of depression. I feel so, so, so lonely. So tell me why on earth this brainiac decided to move into a flat by herself for the first time for potentially the most stressful and anxiety-inducing period of her life as she starts working as a doctor. Not what I wanted to hear. Which nemesis will take the crown in this week's battle for my greatest obstacle to happiness? Isolation or life as a fetal medical practitioner? I'm so tired. So I have a little bit of an apology to make. I did not vlog my first day as a doctor and I vlogged my induction week, but honestly, for my first day of a doctor, for my first day as a doctor, I kind of just thought I was so nervous about that, that in the same way that I found it really, really, really difficult to vlog in exam season. I thought there's no way in hell that I'm getting out my camera on that day. And if I had vlogged my first day as a doctor, it would have been the most boring, boring, boring vlog ever because I basically got to the hospital before eight and I didn't get home until nine. Cheers. So there literally would have been about two minutes footage of me just chatting to the camera here and then here again at the end of the day, which I'm not saying would have been entirely boring because it was a very, 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 very chaotic day. However, I'm only on my third day of being a doctor and I have decided to pick up my camera today. It is... Monday the 7th of August and you are still getting a little first guys because today is the first day that I'm going to be working on the cardiology ward. Cheers. Now you wouldn't guess it from the complete lack of uploads but I have been waking up at 5am in an effort to get my editing done before work because honestly I don't really see how on earth I'm going to manage working full time as a doctor and YouTube without taking some major sacrifices, major sacrifices being waking up pre 6am. So I just got about an hour worth of editing done, which I'm very, 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 very happy with. I start at nine this morning. So if I manage to get it together in the next 40 minutes, I still will be able to cycle in. But I would like to have some breakfast first. Yay! Viewers of the last vlog will be very, 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 very pleased to know that the cycling to work in my work clothes has quickly gone out the window and I have switched it for cycling to work in cycling stuff instead. For obvious reasons, it really wasn't a good idea anyway and I have no idea why I tried it in the first place. I know you will probably also be thinking, why on earth would you want to cycle 40 minutes to work before doing a very taxing shift as a doctor? Well, the answer is that I know for a fact if I do not get my exercise in that way, I will not be getting in any exercise at all. When I don't exercise at all, my mental health falls off the face of a cliff. This is my cycling jacket that my dad got me and I don't really want to wear it but I haven't got any pockets to put my phone in because I'm wearing gym stuff so oh are they just sweat places to sweat from? This is f***ing pointless, it's not even a pocket. Eh? What's the point in that? Okie dokie, right. Earrings. No! Oh my god. Woo! Time to go! Monday done and dusted. Ugh. I don't think these are very exciting parcels. I think this is a light bulb. And I think this is some cleaning products, which actually might be a little bit exciting. I get my helmet off. Oh my God. Oh. 
I actually finished bang on time today, which is good. And then it was about a 40 minute cycle home. Today was actually really good. It was quite chill. First day on the ward. No complaints, no complaints. It felt like my second first day, which is obviously a little bit daunting and also can be a bit, you can just feel like a bit useless. But I feel like that was only mainly for the morning. I definitely felt quite in the way a little bit in the morning because I was kind of just getting used to things. And I feel like I got it in the afternoon, but maybe the doctor's I was with would disagree. Oh, I really don't know what to do with my evening. I might make myself some dinner and have an early dinner, I reckon. Get out my sweaty cycling stuff. The top is just Gymshark and then the leggings of bow and tea. I'm so tired. You see, I have a little bit of an issue that when I get in the house, I immediately get into my pajamas. Now, obviously, if I get into my pajamas, immediately when I get in the house, that means that if there's any errands that I need to do when I get home from work, they aren't getting done because I'm in my pajamas. And that is definitely a big toxic trait for me because I then use it as an excuse to procrastinate, go into the post office, go and get my groceries. But I just can't wear normal clothes in the house. I feel like if I'm in the house, I mean, in my flat, I just feel like I have to wear my pajamas. Pajamas it is. So as you may have guessed, I feel, I feel exhausted and no wonder guys, I kind of thought that I'd get to the point where I graduated and like actually, I don't even think I can say this out loud because I do realise how stupid it sounds, but I kind of thought that I'd get to a point where being a doctor might kind of be easy. Like I know that is a really, really, really deluded thing for me to say, but I mean that I didn't... <laughs> I anticipated how academically challenging medical school would be. I anticipated how emotionally draining being a doctor would be. I also anticipated how busy and like, almost like physically draining and demanding it would be. What I did not anticipate is how hard the cogs in my brain are working from the moment I get into the hospital to the moment I leave. What it is, is the amount of information that you have to assimilate at such a quick pace is in obviously when you're in a medical school exam, you get like these huge, huge, huge stems of past medical history and um, test results and these questions. But uh, most of the time, they're still max three paragraphs, max three paragraphs. And I'm sitting there and I'm reading through this you know, 80 something year old man or woman who has years and years of past medical history, pages and pages full of drugs, and I, the mental energy it requires to put all these things together when they do not fit into a neat multiple choice question. Like, and I know that sounds stupid. I know that sounds ignorant. I know you're probably thinking, Faye, what did you expect? I expected that at this point all these things would be so drilled into my brain that it wouldn't be difficult and maybe it does get easier and you're able to assimilate all that information a lot quicker but right now like i'm at the place where assimilating all that information is mentally exhausting and you're not just doing it for one person you're doing it for how many people are on that ward from the moment you arrive to the moment you go back and the nurse might come up to you and ask you to prescribe something or you might have to speak to family and they might have questions and you might get phone calls about something and every time you get called or asked a question about someone you then have to go back revisit it make sure that you've checked all the boxes you haven't missed anything and it's a proper workout for your brain like which is why I did really want to do some editing tonight. I do need to work out a way of doing my editing when I get back from work and kind of pulling it together and getting it done because otherwise there's not going to be any YouTube videos going up. But I recognise how mentally exhausted my brain is right now. And it was also my first day in the ward. So again, I think, you know, you're ha you haven't quite got into the swing of things. You haven't quite developed like your own personal systems, make sure that you don't miss anything. So it is more exhausting. Like I think once I develop my own system, 
it won't be as mentally taxing but today today the mental taxation was of a very 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 high band let me tell you that i do not have the energy to edit editing requires mental energy it may not seem like that but hopefully oh no hopefully the vlogs are good enough you can recognize that there are some creative decisions that need to be made that right now i do not have the energy to make those creative decisions oh it looks like i've got a little goody so i'm gonna do something equally as productive but not as mentally draining and also equally as needed for me to live a happy healthy life and that is organize my flat i got these drawers here yesterday from ikea no saturday from ikea my mum and dad came down to visit and we had a little ikea trip which is just my favorite day out in the entire world like i would have just as much fun going to ikea for the day as i would going to thorpe park or alton towers and i got these chest of drawers here you might not even be able to see it because the sun is sunning and i need to fill them because they are completely empty and i think i'm just gonna put like my hair stuff in them my shoes but yeah all of that needs to be done and the great thing about a task like that that doesn't require mental energy is I can put on something on my phone and binge watch something whilst I am doing something productive and completing the task. Right now, I still have the rest of Molly May's engagement Q&A to watch. How to get away with murder, which, we, you know, we, we don't actually... I may end up cutting that bit out because basically I've told Dylan that I watched like one or two episodes without him. That was a lie. I've watched many episodes without him, but I haven't actually told him yet. Evie also recommended watching Malpractice as well on ITV. And I've also got the Crazy Rich Agents on BBC to watch as well. Honestly, guys, I actually, I actually don't even know where to start. If you're new to the vlog then you will not be familiar with my vast history of being a very untidy girly and given that I was moving into a new environment, new flat, I thought that this was the perfect time to change my habits and stop being such a messy bitch. So I'll keep you updated on how long that lasts. Well, doesn't that look like a bright and bubbly girl ready to seize the day? I didn't really explain what my work schedule looks like for this rotation, but my days basically split between short days, which are days that I spend on the ward, so this week, and then my long days, which are spent doing what's called the medical take and holding the crash bleep. So that is basically anyone who comes in to the hospital through the emergency department. And if the emergency doctors decide that they are for medical treatment, then myself or the more senior medical doctor will go and see them and clerk them in. And a typical day on the ward, so like today would be going on the ward round in the morning and then on the ward round the consultant would say what the plan is for all the patients on the ward and it's the junior doctor's job to one two three then execute the plan of the consultant and also deal with any issues that may arise on the ward during that time See, I feel so much better in the yellow jacket when it's next to the blue because I feel like right now it's a fashion statement. Yesterday it was a big fat neon signs pointing at me saying bully me. Oh shit. Hey! I have far too much energy considering it's not even 8am. Right, that being said, I need to get a move on. Another day on the ward, baby. Another day with people coming over to me saying, Doctor, can you do this? And me looking around panicking, thinking, Where's the doctor? Where's the doctor? Ah! Ah! Okay. Bye. <sighs> We're back, guys. We are back. And some of you are going to hate me for saying this. If you're in healthcare, you're definitely going to hate me for saying this. If you're a doctor, you're going to hate me for saying this. My ward's great. 
my world is really 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 great word on the street and by street i mean the hospital is that my department is actually I mean, my department it's not my department the department of the rotation that i'm in now is apparently the best staffed department in the hospital today on the ward there were seven doctors i don't actually know how many patients there were but honestly i reckon it was about 25 patients to seven doctors that's not including the consultant seven doctors so we had like not much to do all the jobs were done before lunch basically but not only that everyone's really nice everyone's really friendly everyone's really welcoming i have absolutely no complaints and the best part of all of this is i never would have picked this set of rotations that i've got i never would have picked cardiology i never would have picked the hospital that i'm at i'm on this rotation purely because of my massive f up where i mixed up my preferences and my f up has had better outcomes than if i had got what i wanted like i do think that this is a prime example of number one what's meant to be will be and number two be careful what you wish for because guys if i'd had what i wished for i don't think i would have got as friendly and welcome in a hospital or a rotation that is this well staffed and i do also think that starting on cardiology my general medicine is gonna be 10 10 by the end of it fingers crossed so i think it's going to be a very good foundation a little bit of downside we had teaching at lunchtime on very exciting vte prophylaxis and not so great they gave us cold pizza as our free teaching lunch so every tuesday all the f1s so like first year doctors have lunchtime teaching and we get lunch provided catering guy brings in these plates of pizza puts them down on the table whilst we still have about 20 minutes of teaching left and i'm just looking at the pizza i'm starving it's like half one i didn't have any breakfast this morning i like i'm ravenous for this pizza we finally finished the teaching we go over to the pizza and it's cold and not only was it cold pizza it was pretty grim pizza it really wasn't that good yeah it wasn't the best but a free lunch is a free lunch i mean i did have to give up my lunch break to go to teaching and the lunch was kind of gross but there are way 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 worse things i could be complaining about now i really 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 need to shower guys but your gal is a hungry gal a hunger 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 gal and I need to make some food. So food is taking priority over my sweaty armpits. And on top of that, what else am I gonna do? Betray my boyfriend and watch another episode of How, I, How to Get Away with Murder. The worst thing is I know he's watching The Witcher. So when he's traveling around Asia, he's got all these Witcher episodes to watch, but I don't have anything else on the go. And the excuse I'm gonna give him is that I've been going through a stressful period. I come home from the hospital. I wanna relax. I wanna enjoy myself. I wanna engage in good television. I don't wanna be scrolling through Netflix to just find something bad. I wanna just watch something I know is gonna deliver. And I do think that I am now about a season ahead. Whoopsies. Next question, guys, is what do I want to eat? I think I have quite a lot of fresh stuff that needs using up. And I might cook something for once instead of having microwave rice and veggie chicken nuggets. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm going to cook something. So I have loads of courgette. I have loads of leeks random i have loads of carrots i have some avocado oh i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a miso poke bowl i'm really my healthy girl era Woo! i've got some like plant like fake vegan -y, meaty stuff that i might put in the oven just have something on the side i think i've got some seeds i've got some lemon juice oh my god this is gonna be incredible I thought there was a new season of The Crown out. Oh my god. Uh. I did also just order one of the 12 in 1 vegetable shoppers. Choppers? Shoppers? Choppers. Which looks incredible, especially if you're someone like me who, when I get busy, I have a tendency to not cook or eat healthily. So anything that makes eating healthier 
easier eg like something where you just stick it in and it just chops in two seconds flat is wonderful for me it hasn't actually arrived yet unfortunately so i'm gonna have to chop these by hand <laughs> Just so all I did was that, guys, is should lightly sauteed, sauteed the vegetables. So a little bit of onion, courgette, carrot, leek in oil, soy sauce, and a little bit of sriracha, cooked brown rice. And then when the brown rice was done, I added in a little bit of miso, chopped up the cucumber, chopped up some avocado, and then ruined it with chicken nuggets <laughs> and finished off by topping it with sesame seeds. Guys, I am the worst, like actually the worst for food presentation. And somehow this could have been really, really, really nice and I ruined it with chicken fucking nuggets. Cheers. Well, good morning, guys. It is 10 to 8. Oh, the sweet, sweet lying. I mean, it's not that much lying, but mild lying of a day off. Wow, that was so needed. But I forgot to turn off my alarm, so my alarm went off at six. Well, my Lumi, I've got the sound on. And I quickly turned that off because I needed my sleep. I think last night was the earliest I've got to bed and I wasn't even in work this morning. So I got into bed at about half nine. It was an absolute dream. And then I woke up again at about half seven to my doorbell because little miss bright idea over here ordered a tesco delivery in the 7 a.m to 8 a.m slot and do you know why i did that because i thought it'll get me up so that i seize the day obviously this morning when i woke up to that sound at half seven when i could have had a little bit longer in bed was not what i wanted to hear <sighs> But I don't even think that I said. Guys, because of the strikes, I am off now until Tuesday. I was meant to be working eight till half eight, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a nine to five on Monday. And would you look at that? The strikes have given me those days off. So I'm not working till Tuesday next week. I'm so happy. But that means today is going to be a sort myself out with social media stuff. I think I'm filming some stuff for a uni day's reel, so I'm just filming some like healthy study snacks. But I kind of just want to lie here in bed. So I have like a million and one things to do. However, am I gonna make myself a really nice day off breakfast with a really nice day off hot drink? Absolutely. So I just made myself a little mid-morning snack, which may seem a little bit rogue. I've got peaches and magic stars. Now the reason I've done this is because, as I've spoken about a little bit, I have a little bit of a disordered history with my eating, my body, whatever. And I think something that's really, really, really helped me improve my relationship with food is not seeing things as like an all or nothing. And also when I snack, when I make meals or whatever, including something of what like I really want, along with something that is more nutritionally valuable more nutrient dense <laughs> so i thought i'm really craving some magic stars but also it would be good to get in some fruit some vitamins some fiber so it may not be the most obvious combination but in terms of like mental satiety it's going to keep me satiated for longer because i'm not restricting myself but also i'm giving myself a little bit more fiber to keep me fuller for longer than if i was just having the magic stars so after all that faffing, would you believe it? It was actually time for a little bit more faffing in the form of making myself a coffee. However, we all know that that is essential for getting any work done. So of course it was a mandatory activity before I could do anything remotely productive. 
just a little funny story to illustrate how stupid I am when it actually comes to common sense issues. I didn't use these Beats headphones for I reckon over a year because I thought that I'd lost the charger and I could not be bothered to order a new charger, only for me to find out very recently that they actually just charge from the same cable as my iPhone. After a fair bit of time being a productive babe, it was time to test my common sense knowledge once again and face the flat pack furniture. Morning, morning, morning guys! It is 7.58 and I just remembered and I've been here two weeks, but yesterday I got Wi-Fi. Yesterday, and my iPad just does not want to connect to my hotspot whatsoever. So I was just about to get ready to film a reel, which I was meant to, to do yesterday. I do realise that I said I was going to do it yesterday, but I'm going to do it this morning. And I was just about to do my makeup, and then I remembered I can be a little iPad with Netflix on, girly, whilst I'm doing my makeup again. So once I did my makeup, I started filming and clearly I was a little bit nervous because I did my little I am nervous shake it out moment. <clears throat> if there's one thing that got... <sighs> Which makes an appearance almost every single time I film and I get stage fright. So I literally just got rid of the cardboard boxes that were piling up obviously from the table and then now I'm gonna go get some more cardboard boxes and I think my light has come, which if I'm gonna be honest, my floor lamp, trying to go past. My floor lamp is probably the item of furniture I'm most excited about getting. Now let me tell you, considering that I moved into this flat on a strict budget because I'd gone over the budget on rent, buying things for this flat has me in an absolute chokehold and I've been doing some girl maths and telling myself that it's absolutely fine because it will improve my mental well-being and thus enhance my ability as a doctor but I just, just don't know if that's how it works but yeah, anyway, these were all the little bits that I got and then finally we do have my life! Oh my god, I cannot tell you how much I love this lamp. It just brings so much ambiance to my flat. And I am really, really, really actively trying to stop myself buying more lamps because I was never a you can't use the big light girly and now I have become a you can't use the big light girly and I, I'm never going back. <laughs> I'm gonna have some beads on toast. Now, if there is one thing in life that I can romanticize, it is beads on toast, and especially for a day off breakfast. Guys, if you are buying any of those Heinz beans with chili, added extra this that and the other you are wasting your money you have all those ingredients at your disposal and every single time you make beans on toast you can do something a little bit different a little bit quirky if it doesn't work the tin of beans was about a pound you can just move on with your life and it's so fine but i never just have beans on toast i always add a little something something and today was some cayenne pepper and of course i had that with a day off coffee and by day off coffee i mean i had time to whip the milk and add cinnamon and it was delightful just what i needed before sitting down and getting to some actual work now if you thought that forest was going to be exclusively left in my metal era then you would be very 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 wrong and i will tell you why forest will always be a permanent feature in my life and that is because I'm a chronic procrastinator and I actually do need it to function. So all in all, I actually felt that that was a very productive second day off. I feel like the first day off is definitely for recovery and I would love the second day off to also be for recovery. However, 
given that I am embarking on this journey of being a full-time doctor and still hoping to keep up YouTube, the second day off definitely needs to be for also working a long, 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 long day, which I definitely wasn't capable of on the first day when I was feeling tired and in need of recuperation. As much as medical school was difficult, I feel like it is definitely, 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 definitely gonna take some getting used to time management wise. Trying to balance these two things in this new era of my life where I am exhausted all the time. Trigger warning, dry saliva mouth in three, two, one. It's so hot. <coughs> so I'm gonna venture out. Um, I have got a couple of returns to do. And also I need to get some fresh air because I don't think I left the house at all yesterday, which is mildly concerning. And there's a little bakery on the high street that I have wanted to pop into. So who knows, maybe I will be returning with an almond croissant. Croissant. We all know maybe means I would 100% be returning with an almond croissant the size of my head. Oh my God, massive. Now you do not need a degree in nutrition to recognise that almond croissants are definitely not the most nutritious foods in the world. However, for me personally, given that I do not have the best relationship with food or a history of good relationship with eating food on my body, eating things that I enjoy and make me feel happy is such a huge, huge, huge part of my diet. And I've said it before and I will say it again, addition rather than restriction has been such a key part of healing my relationship with food. What I mean by that is adding to make things more nutritious rather than in taking away the things that aren't as nutritious. If I didn't mention today is a strike day. The whole weekend is strikes, but today I'm gonna to go to the demonstration in Downing Street and I'm also gonna see Spear and Rafi there because I said that I'd meet them there. And then afterwards I'm gonna go for a curry and a drink with the other doctors in the hospital that I'm in, which would be really nice because I think this is like the first time that we've had like a social together. And it would be really nice because I think that I am definitely starting to get a little bit lonely being here on my ones. And also I haven't seen any of my medical school friends since I've been here. So yeah, I think it'll be a nice afternoon. I just need to pick what to wear. What do you wear for a strike and then and then a curry and some drinks, you know? Like, but it's quite hot, it's about 20 degrees. So maybe I'll go for a little summer dress. So after doing my makeup, I got the train into Central to see my friends and I've got to admit guys, I was a little bit of a fake protester because I actually only stayed at the protest for five minutes before Sophia and Rafi wanted to leave because they've been waiting for me for so long. I'm home. Oh. I think so, so, so lonely. And I don't think I realised it until I saw my friends today. And I think I just had this plan of like really, 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 really wish that you guys were really close. And not only because I feel like I'm lonely, but also because I feel like such an emotional time. <sighs> Morning guys. So I don't know how much I'm gonna keep in of me crying to the camera last night. But I do think it does raise an important issue that I have been getting lots and lots and lots of questions about, like, how are you finding living alone? And like, I love my flat. I think I probably feel this way because Dylan's on holiday and like, I don't have any close friends in the area. Like, I don't think I realized how lonely I was until I saw Sophia and Rafi yesterday because I feel like I, saw Sophia and Rafi and then I started like tearing up um because I feel like I realised how much I missed having like close close friends near me and yeah like I felt I did feel really lonely I do feel really lonely like even last week when I wasn't vlogging I felt lonelier <laughs> like I think vlogging has really 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 helped because it gives me someone to speak to because if I don't I don't see anyone <laughs> outside of work you know, like living alone is rough <laughs> especially when you go from like being quite surrounded by people to then just being by yourself it's like yeah it's rough 
But on the plus side, I went into my tote this morning and realised that like yesterday when I was with Raffi, we went into Italy. And I got Italy focaccia, which is just my favourite thing in the entire world. Which I have demolished. And... Truffle crisps! Which I haven't tried yet. Look at the size of that bad boy. Oh my god. Of course you can guess that I polished off my healthy nutritious breakfast of a whole entire share bag of truffle crisps. Holy moly. That's good. Mm. Yep. Okay, I'm meeting Evie for lunch now. I don't feel lonely anymore. I have friends again. I have friends again. I have friends again. The iPad is back out guys, so you know what time it is. It is time to make myself a little bit more mildly presentable and after that I headed into central London to meet Evie and if you are new and unfamiliar with Evie then where have you been? But Evie was my flatmate in medical school for four years. Uh, look who it is! <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm home and I've already changed out of my jeans and into some shorts and there's a row of kebab shops when you get off the train or when I'm walking back from the train station and I kind of just thought to myself, you know, this is your, these are your local kebab shops and like you need to start like working your way through to work out which ones are the good local kebab shops and I walked in, first one was cash only, I thought no 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 no, I'm an apple pay girly second one walk in fries no curry sauce something red flag you gotta start somewhere so i got some fries and a diet coke and i'm gonna sit and i'm gonna watch netflix and do you know what i've had a great day this is such a big portion of fries oh they're nice today's been good it today reminded me that living alone is lonely, but then also you need to stop being dramatic and remember that you do have friends. They're just not living with you or living two floors below you. And that may require more effort, but you may feel lonely, but you're not alone vibes. And even if you feel alone, there is always potatoes they likely to fall below the poverty line. But Just another not so sad lonely night, betraying my boyfriend by watching how to get away with murder without him. Guys, I'm gonna level with you. This was definitely one of those days that I completely wasted and did not make the most of. I think I had about a million and one things to do and basically I started my day by making myself a beans on toast. That should have sustained me for quite a while and I should have been able to get quite a lot of productive stuff done on that beans on toast. Did I? No, absolutely not. I think I ate the beans on toast, went on my phone for a little bit and then decided that I also needed to make myself a nice healthy mid-morning snack so I made myself some fruit and yogurt and honey and chia seeds and yes that is lovely and that is healthy and it's probably very good for my body. None of my editing got done, none of the a million and one things that should have been more of a priority got done and then shock after my mid-morning snack, probably about two hours later when again I had not achieved anything substantial, I just made myself some lunch. So basically all I've done all day is just eat this is my lunch. We've got Ikea meatballs, brown rice, cucumber that I chopped using my new 12 and one vegetable chopper, onions, lettuce, sriracha, soy sauce, salt, pepper. Oh, no acid. So I've actually plucked up the energy to leave the flat. I'm gonna go for an eye test. I definitely feel like I, I complain about being lonely and then don't leave the flat for like two days. So it's kind of my own fault. So obviously because this is a self-care Sunday, I thought why not treat myself? Was it necessary to get this many cotton wool pads? Probably not, but it was a fiver for six. 
which seems like a pretty good deal, but actually, thinking about it now, maybe not. In Lidl, I got natural yogurt. This was less than 50p. Less than 50p. Hello. I also got grapes because my fruit bowl was looking a little bit dead empty. Eggies. Peaches, again, because my fruit bowl was looking empty. Then, like, can you ever go into Lidl and not get something from the Lidl bakery? And normally, I'm lucky, I'll be going in with Dill, and I can, like, buy all this stuff knowing that Dill will eat it. And I just kind of didn't really think about the fact that it's only me, and I'm going to be the one eating all this. But got a little margarita pizza. <laughs> I got a, a natta, a pastel da natta, a Portuguese tart my favorite i never like like them and sophie got me on them they're not really my favorite she's gonna think that i'm copying her i love them i won't take the crown from sophie for them being her favorite and a jam donut and of course as well interest of self-care sunday i got three little face masks i got a vitamin c a collagen and a hyaluronic acid did I need to get them? Absolutely not. But here we are. So this is the absolutely hilarious paradox of how I achieved almost absolutely nothing all week despite having most of the week off because of the strikes. When I have all the time in the world, that just gives me an excuse to procrastinate and not get them done. In contrast, when I am editing and also recording the voiceovers for this vlog, I have just done four long days in work. So four eight till half eight shifts and I've been editing for about an hour every single morning before work to try get this video done. How is that fair? Why do our brains work like that? So I feel like last week was a little bit of a lesson in how to live alone properly because um, I definitely think last week I was lonely, I had no routine. Um, yesterday I basically did absolutely nothing apart from sit on the sofa and watch TV and eat food and it was so unproductive. I felt so 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 blessed to have all those days off and I basically just wasted them all. And not only did I just like waste them all because I think sometimes it's like what you need to just sit and do nothing and not feel guilty about it. I felt shit whilst doing it and I just felt lonely and crappy and whatever. And I think part of it was because I had so much to do, I felt guilty making plans with other people because I knew that I had stuff to do like YouTube editing wise. But then I didn't end up doing that. I just ended up sitting doing nothing and was by myself, which was stupid, which was really, really, really stupid. I think it was a lesson in what you think you want is not always what you need. What I think I wanted was to sit in front of the telly and eat food. And actually what I needed was to socialise and have a little bit of routine, which obviously didn't really happen. Which is why today I'm up, I'm early, I've tidied the flat and there's a coffee shop across the road and I'm going to get some work done and be outside of the flat. Because as much as I love this flat, sitting in here 24-7 because I don't have any friends in this area is um yeah it's obviously not 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 that pleasant if you enjoyed the vlog then please do not forget to like comment subscribe hopefully the next one will be a little bit less lonely i hope you all have a wonderful 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 week and i will see you in the next video Mwah.